We truly are in a very precipitous time. Precipitous in terms of do we choose to continue as a species here? What would the world look like if women protecting the earth were supported and united? Every day we work to answer that question. We identify women leaders in some of the most underserved and environmentally threatened parts of the world and we support their leadership because we know these women have the answers. They know what they need to do. All they need is a little bit of support and connection to other leaders. Immediately the thing that stands out is the boldness of Women's Earth Alliance in mixing the sacred and the technical. In addition to talking about the legal frameworks and ways to get involved, there are also spaces to have real hard conversations about what are some of the colonial, racist, classist, all kinds of dynamics that each of us are carrying inside and that if we don't take a very hard look at those as advocates we will just be perpetuating the problem and that in itself is quite radical and important work. Those who are currently advocates in this network, they're asking the right questions and they want to help and they understand the need to be open-minded and to learn uh, something from our indigenous peoples on how we can work together. A really important part is to create a network of empowered, of resourced and mobilized grassroots rural women leaders and trainers who will then spread this knowledge to their networks, to other women's groups. This is not a top-down model where we have experts who are teaching women about these techniques. It is really the exchange of knowledge and solutions that these women leaders have been already implementing in their communities and most importantly, bringing back the dignity into the traditional knowledge systems of women farmers, which has been completely eroded in this larger paradigm of industrial agriculture. It's working with people who are working with real farmers. And it's just not, you know, armchair thinking and armchair practice. It's local resilience which counts. It's local participation that counts. It's about people who have to deal with it, not in the future, they have to deal with it today. I feel that whatever little I can give back, I want to give that back in my lifetime. The power of change, of transformation, when groups of women work together, you can feel the emotion in the room uh, when the women are singing, when they're sharing stories. It's quite amazing. The solution lies with us and the answer is with us women. I expect them to get down to the ground and myself included, get down to the ground and build a mass of grassroots women who are ready to talk in their communities, influence decisions and advocacy and lobby for change in various development aspects within our communities. There are times that I face challenges and I look back and say, wow, what brought me into this? But a moment after, when you see that you brought hope to people that has no hope, you know, you forget about all this and the joy springs up within you that you're affecting humanity positively. Everything that we did here is literally going to ripple out in 30 more ripples. I can just see these like little raindrops just rippling, 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 rippling out. People always say to me, why aren't you working locally? There's so much there's so much work to do right at home. Why are you doing global work? But this is a small planet and we are so close to each other. Local is relative. We are all in it together. There's nowhere that's not local here. I know that we are transforming this world and I know that we are inextricably linked. We are an unstoppable movement of women, transforming, rising, there are so many people that have money and they don't know where to spend it. And they spend it lavishly. But in this organization, they have the law of human being and they have seen our need. For them devoting their life, their money, and their time to come and help us in this country, we are very grateful. So what we're all trying to do here what each and every human being that came and gave up 
these days when they could be doing anything, anything. But each and every person has chosen this moment to make a difference, to make use of the gift of life by giving back to each other, by giving back to make sure that there is a future for humans on Earth.